Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for y'all. In this video, we are going to magnetize the weapon options on the close combat arms of the Centurion. And as you can see, we have the close combat arm. It's already been magnetized and ready to be utilized on the model. And that was following uh, the previous video's instructions on the guns and the other options because it's essentially the same kind of fitting that goes onto the arm but we are going to use a different set of magnets for this as you can see here there's a little little arm is already magnetized in everything fits up nicely and everything works pretty darn good we are going to be using three 30 second inch magnets or 2.3813 millimeter magnets if you're using metric also have our 3 32nd inch drill bit again you can use a pin vise pin vise is pretty straightforward just turn it's all muscle but me i'm impatient and i prefer a rotary tool <laughs> and so when we're getting these parts ready to magnetize you can see on the inside part of the gun that fits onto this weapon option and they are they are already keyed so that it, it, you can tell which one fits where and it all lines up pretty good. But you can see on the side of the gun, there is already kind of this little nodule and we're gonna use that basically as a guide to where we're gonna put our magnet. This is a rough guide. It's really not, you know, terribly important, but. And before we begin drill, we create a little pilot hole for where we're gonna set the magnet in. And as you can see here, we just create a little hole there. Using our little nodule that's in that little keyed in area, we create a little pilot hole off of that. Although it wasn't entirely necessary because the drill bit is bigger than that little nodule is and it ends up just kind of destroying it. But you do notice how far it does stick out and we are gonna try and emulate that when we put the magnet into place. As that is really where the uh, model will make contact with the the drill bit arms or whatever the heck they are. You can see, so we have the hole drilled. We'll just take our magnet and slap it in. Now we drilled it far enough that it will sit flush with the surface. And you can see there the magnet's not quite flush yet, so we just use an old paintbrush or something non-magnetic -mag to help push that magnet further in. And then we'll just wipe away excess glue or what have you. Tension alone sometimes will hold the magnet in place. If you drilled it right the first time and in one try, you, can, you went straight in and straight out and you drilled a perfectly good hole. It'll, uh, sometimes the tension will keep the magnet in place, but most of the time it doesn't work out like that. <laughs> Unless you had a drill press, a little miniature one. You can see here, I'm not using a vise or anything like that for these bits as I can hold on to them pretty well. And I have the RPMs really low on the drill bit that I'm not too worried about drilling into myself or drilling through the model. Using a pin vise, obviously it's not quite as much of a danger, but with the rotary tool it is. And so always be mindful of that. If you're not very comfortable with these kind of things, don't do it. <laughs> and again here, we're just gonna use just a little bit of glue. Super glue often works a lot better when you use a very minimal amount. You can see there is quite a bit sitting in the bottom and so we'll have to wipe the excess away. Crazy glue works a lot better when it's just a very minimal amount needed to hold something in place. And as you can see here, we're just gonna seat the magnet so that it's sitting uh, parallel to the surface, like the surface of the magnet is parallel to the surface of the rest of the bit, just so that it sits well against this rest of the model. And then once we have both bits drilled out and magnets in place and glue is dry, we just simply slap it in. Now, because the weapons have those kind of little keyed spots onto them, they don't move a whole lot when you put them onto the model, as you can see there. And we just take this little guy and slap them on. And you can see they don't turn, rotate or anything like that. And it's all good. And that's it. That's, weapon, uh, that's magnetizing your weapon options for your close combat. It's easy as that. 